It is so easy to get caught up in our own little worlds, and you never know what interesting things your neighbor might be up to. For instance, right up the road at the Butterfly Pavilion, they are working on an international project trying to teach farmers in Nepal and Tanzania how to chase away elephants using bee fences. We do have thousands of butterflies flying around us right now, but we are much more than butterflies. On this Giving Tuesday, Butterfly Pavilion is encouraging folks to donate to a project called Bee Fencing. Bee Fencing helps people be safe from elephants and elephants be safe from people, using honeybees as a deterrent from elephants coming in. Hi, I'm Mario from Butterfly Pavilion, and I'm here in Nepal working on a Bee Fencing Project. Late last year, we were in Nepal working on this project. And then just this year, we were able to go to Tanzania and continue that work in Tanzania. So you lift straight up. So in a lot of these areas, people are farming right in their own backyard in very small plots. See if you can find the queen. You saw the queen on the last one, right? So what a bee fence does, you take a dozen or so hives and you actually put them on posts and surround a farm with those beehives because the farms are small enough to be surrounded. And then these beehives are connected by a trip wire. And if the elephant tries to come into that farm, it disturbs the beehive via the trip wire, shakes the hive up a little bit, and then the bees emerge from the hive to protect themselves. And it stings the elephant, and then the elephants kind of turn tail and run away and are not going to be coming into those farms to exploit the resources that the humans are growing. It's actually a win-win. You're able to sell honey from those hives that are protecting your farmland, but then you're able to sell those vegetables that weren't eaten by the elephants as well. So you actually come out on top you really have a really effective barrier that helps the elephants and helps the people and helps the bees. 